In this video, we're going to talk about some of the benefits that can come from drinking bone broth and who might get the most out of those benefits, along with some people that might need to avoid the bone broth. Here we go. T.C. Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So the reason that I use bone broth with a lot of my clients is because it's just a really easy way to access nutrients that are often otherwise difficult to access today. So long ago when grandma and grandpa used to cook food, they would cook all of the food. They'd cook the whole animal, like here's rabbit for dinner and then we're gonna have rabbit stew and then here's rabbit broth. Like they would take this carcass and cook it in the water to get all those nutrients out and we would have that in soups and stews and broths. And we just don't do that like we used to. We just eat the food and then eat the muscle and throw the rest away. So bone broth is a great way to access a lot of nutrients that are found in those connective tissues and the bones and the marrow, all that stuff where there's a lot of good nutrients that are otherwise difficult for us to access. So when you take a food that's presenting you with nutrients that are usually harder to access and you couple that with a person who's having a hard time accessing nutrients in the food that they're eating, all of a sudden you have a great combination. And the best part is that bone broth is something that you can just make at home. It's actually better when you make it at home than when you buy it. I don't like to see clients buy it because it's just usually not as high a quality and you're not gonna get as many nutrients as you will when you make it. Now there's starting to be more high quality like grass fed frozen versions of bone broth that you can get in some stores, but they can be harder to find and they can be a little bit more expensive. You get more bang for your buck when you just make it yourself. Plus you can figure out, okay, what water do I wanna put in here? I can put higher quality water in here. I can access organic or grass fed bones and I really know what I'm putting in this broth. And then a person just cooks that for a day or two and then all of a sudden all the nutrients that were in those bones along with any of the vegetables that you put in the broth and now all these nutrients are very easy to access and they're in this liquid form where it's very easy to assimilate the nutrients in them. So the person that's going to benefit the most from drinking bone broth is somebody that has low resources in the system. And we see that this issue alone can create a very wide range of symptoms and health issues for a person. So if a person has low blood pressure, like if they look at their blood pressure at least two hours after a meal, if that systolic number, which is the top number, is lower than 112, that can be a sign that minerals and other resources are low in the system. And this can create issues like major cravings or if a person is having some mental or emotional issues. A lot of times it's just about the body not having the resources and minerals it needs for all of the bodily functions to work correctly. So they can start drinking some bone broth and really lift these resources up in a big way and improve a lot of symptoms as well as improving the body's ability to function correctly. So when a body can function correctly, it can also improve a lot of other symptoms that may be showing up. Uh, if a client is dealing with digestive issues, it can really be beneficial to use some bone broth because a lot of times the resources are low because of these digestive malfunctions. The person can't really break their food down well enough to access all the minerals and all the nutrients in the food. So you put it in this bone broth and all of a sudden it goes right in. They don't need to break that down. It's very accessible to the body and easy for them to access. Plus, if a person's dealing with any kind of leaky gut issues, bone broth has a lot of amino acids that the body can use as building blocks to repair and rebuild that intestinal lining. So that can be beneficial in that regard. But if someone has a leaky gut issue, they may also be dealing with histamine intolerance problems where the body has too much histamine in there. And histamine can be a byproduct of the immune system. So our body makes histamine when there's inflammation or some type of invader in the body that the body's having to really jack up the immune system to kind of take care of. So when that's the issue, a person might have a higher level of histamine in the body and then there are foods that have higher levels of histamine in them. So when they consume these foods, 
it can really magnify the symptoms that they're experiencing. And bone broth can have a higher level of histamine in it, but I just don't think that a person really needs to run in horror from histamine if they have a histamine intolerance because that's not going to fix the actual problem. The problem is that the person either doesn't have an enzyme that the body needs to process this histamine and get it out of the system or they're missing some minerals that don't allow those enzymes to work or they just have some type of major inflammatory issue or some type of uh, infection or situation where the body is really elevating the immune response. So if a person can work on the underlying cause of that issue, then all of a sudden the histamines are not going to give them a problem. They don't have to run in horror from something that can be as beneficial as bone broth. Now, I have run into clients that when they drink bone broth, they just feel really lousy because of the histamine burden that the body is dealing with. So if that's the case for you, you might not qualify to use this yet. You may need to do some things like fixing a leaky gut issue or any digestive malfunctions. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but I'll put a link in the description below for our video on how to improve leaky gut, and you might need to dig into that, and you might really need to do some work. It's not gonna be a, hey, pop this pill and leaky gut and histamine issues are fixed by Thursday. You might have to put some effort into that to correct some underlying causes that are creating that problem. But I don't like to see people need to really run in horror from histamine foods because that's really just improving those symptoms. It's not actually fixing the underlying cause of that problem. But I have seen people who say that if they just cook the bone broth for a shorter period of time, most people to really get all the nutrients out of it and to give it a great flavor are gonna cook bone broth for like 24 or maybe even 48 hours but that also increases the level of histamine in that bone broth. So if a person just cooked it for maybe like six to eight hours, then that histamine level would be lower. They wouldn't be getting as many nutrients out of the bone broth. But hey, if you're having a hard time really getting nutrients in, you're still gonna lift it a little bit without creating such a problem for you if you're dealing with that histamine issue right now. But the main thing is to fix any digestive malfunctions that could be restricting the ability of the body to get those nutrients as well as creating these leaky gut issues by allowing all these invaders in that have the ability to compromise that intestinal lining and stuff like that. We talk about that in the leaky gut video. But if you're dealing with any digestive symptoms at all, then you wanna correct the underlying causes of those problems. And chapters three and four of my book, Kick Your Fat in the Nuts, kind of walk you through figuring out which aspects of digestion are not working correctly and steps you can take to improve those. And the book is available on Amazon, but I'll just put a link in the description below so you can get the whole thing totally for free and that'll walk you through that process. And one thing to think about is I don't feel like somebody needs to drink a ton of bone broth every day. I think that if somebody even just had like half a cup or a cup of bone broth, it's just about giving the body some of those nutrients that it just doesn't see as often. They can really be beneficial and they can help the body kind of fill in some of the gaps it might be missing. So if somebody even just gets a little bit of bone broth each day or even just three or four days a week, they can really benefit a lot of situations. And some other people that can really benefit from drinking bone broth are people dealing with some types of arthritis. And there's some varied opinions out there about why this can be beneficial. And I'm okay with most of them. Some people feel like a lot of arthritis type issues are due to an autoimmune response where the body is like attacking these cells in these tissues, maybe like connective tissues type of thing. Or maybe the body's having an immune response to something and it's similar to that type of tissue so then it attacks that tissue. So a bone broth, not only has all these nutrients and amino acids, it also has a lot of amino acid cofactors that help the body utilize the amino acids in that bone broth even better. So there's a lot of different types of proteins in bone broth and some people feel like it's almost like when you put all these different proteins in the body, it kind of almost divert the immune system from attacking itself. It's like, oh, I'm gonna go over here. There's, these proteins are over here too, so I'm gonna take my attention over here and leave these tissues alone and not attack them. So is that what's going on? I don't know, it's possible. I, can, I could buy into that a little bit. The body does some, some pretty zany stuff that we don't really understand. But I also view it as a lot of these things that are viewed as autoimmune issues might not be the body attacking those tissues. It could be that the body is mining those tissues. When the body is not bringing in the nutrients that it needs to function correctly, usually because the person can't digest their food correctly and get all the nutrients out of it, 
but the body will mine itself. It'll break down its own tissues and access those minerals and other amino acids and other nutrients that it needs from those tissues. So if all of a sudden you're supplying the body with nutrients that it needs, then it doesn't need to mine itself. It's not going to break itself down and cause all those connective tissues to deteriorate. And it also is going to give the body some of those building blocks where now those joints and tissues can be rebuilt. It gives it rebuilding tools that it needs. Did you know that the body rebuilds itself? We kind of know that and we forget it because it, we, there's a lot of things that can restrict it from happening. So it just seems to me that maybe some of these arthritic issues are improving because it's giving the body what it needs to rebuild these tissues and also to stop the body from mining itself and breaking itself down. There are also some imbalances and things that can cause a body to break itself down a little bit more than it should. I talk about some of those in the book that you can get for free below. I'm not going to go into that a whole lot here. But you can see that there can be a lot of benefits for bone broth for a wide variety of people. But the biggest benefit that I see it have is helping somebody get more nutrients when they're having a difficult time getting all those nutrients out of the food that they're eating. Now, if you feel like those digestive issues may have been a problem and maybe you're dealing with some of those leaky gut issues that are elevating those histamine issues, you can jump over right now and check out that video on understanding leaky gut. I hope that helps.